So, it's something I want to talk about. Um, I hear this every time, either from friend, family, people in the gym. I want to lose weight. What exercises can I do to help me lose weight? Okay, I would start with weight loss comes from your nutrition. So everyone knows that to lose weight, you need to stay in a calorie deficit. That is, you burn more calories than you consume. Where to start with this? Um, there's a few methods you can do. Um, personally, for myself, um, I track my macros, which is your carbs, your fats, and your proteins. Because I exercise a fair bit, I have my protein at the top. You need to start by setting yourself some realistic goals. Um, these are called SMART goals. They're specific, they're measurable, they're accountable, um, are they realistic? And do you have a set time frame in which you want to achieve them by? For females, it's generally they want to hit a certain weight or they want to get to a dress size. Um, for males, they all seem to be fixated by, oh, I want a six pack. Um, myself, I was more to the side of, yeah, I wanted a six pack. Now, um, I'm what I'm pushing 40 this year. My goal is I want to improve my overall health and my overall fitness, um, especially in the fitness. Now, to start with, you are going to struggle. You'll have your ups, your downs, you'll have your good days and your bad days. Your bad days, you just need to take them on the chin, um, learn from them and move on. Your good days will make you feel good. So, where to start with weight loss um, or a lifestyle change, come to think of it. Diets don't work, so stop looking at your weight loss journey as a diet. Just look at it as a lifestyle change. That, that incorporates just more than your eating and your exercising. Um, to be in a good state of health, it can affect your work. It can be your love life, your family life. Um, stress can have a knock-on effect to your health. But getting back to what to do. Okay, first things first. If you're not already, you want to be drinking. That's a two-litre bottle. At least one and a half of those a day, minimum. So increase your water intake. That's going to keep your body hydrated. It's going to stop uh, weight gain, um, problems with your hair, your skin, constipation, kidneys. That is by far the most important one. Increase your water intake to start with. It's not easy. You, the toilet will become your best friend. But little steps made daily lead to big results. Everyone knows that. So once you've cracked your water, then let's have a look about the food. Now, I'm, I will openly admit, I'm not 100% strict with my diet. Reason being, I find it boring. Uh, I would probably class it as a more flexible. Um, I still track my food, but I don't overly stress if I go slightly off track or not. Um, I will have the old cheat day, um, the old bag of sweets here and there with the kids, but everyone will do what works for them. You need to find what works for you to start with. So once you've increased your water intake, um, there's a good little app back there called My Fitness Pal. It's free to download. You can, if you're really, really serious, pay for the premium and you can go into your macros more um, and your micronutrients, but download the free one, set yourself up a profile, and that will calculate your calorie intake for the day. It will also calculate how many grams of carbs you should have, fats and proteins. Now, I will go into it on a separate video about which should come more, um, well, what should come at the top of the list, your fats, carbs, protein, everyone will have their own outlook on this. But just start with the basics. Set yourself some realistic goals that you can track. They're measurable. They're not completely wild, oh I want to lose two stone in two months, that's just ridiculous. If one of you lose two stone, that would be your long term goal, then your medium goal will be you lose a stone, short term goal would be seven pounds. So make it, break it down into smaller chunks, It's more you can focus more on it, it's more manageable. Um, and then just try and clean your lifestyle up as best you can. Now. Not saying you need to stop everything, 
but just reduce. So if you drink a lot, reduce the amount of times you drink. If you smoke, well, uh, give up smoking. Um, but try and cut down as much. Increase your daily activities. That could be um, get out more, walking. It could be come to the gym more. It could be swimming. Um, find what works for yourself. And just take each day as it comes. Try not to overthink things. Try not to let stress into your life so much. Yes, we all get stress, um, but hey, that is life. Um, you can either let it bother you and affect you, or you can just, yeah, acknowledge it and then let it go out. Um, but yeah, start with increasing your water intake. Set yourself some goals. Clean up your eatings. And I would probably say my biggest advice when it comes to weight loss or improving your lifestyle, patience. Rome wasn't built in a day. You didn't put your weight on overnight. You're not going to lose it overnight. Have some patience. Patience will be your greatest weapon, um, especially when you're having your good days and your bad days. You may hear the progress. The, the, you, know, you may hear, hear the term. Um, slow progress is still progress, and it is. No matter how slow your progress is, you are still making progress. Um, big tip, stop weighing yourself. Maybe weigh yourself at the start. Two weeks to maybe four weeks down the line, again. But just take more measurements off your body. So across your chest, your waist, uh, below your belly button where your stubborn fat is, and my stubborn fat is, um, your hips, the thighs and your arms. Those would be the measurements that you would do every couple of weeks. We all know our body fluctuates, um, but I would probably recommend do not weigh yourself as much as what some people do. Um, I've spoke to people in the gym who weigh themselves every day. It's not healthy. Uh, you get on those scales every day where your body fluctuates, you're just you're banging your head against the wall. It's not gonna happen. So yeah, maybe weigh yourself once, twice a month. Take your measurements twice a month, so every two weeks. Um, and yeah, just take it from there. Start off little, those little steps, repeated day in, day out, will lead to bigger results. Take care.